Hello everyone and welcome. In this video you will learn how to adjust the volume for the teacher and student microphones on the Audio Enhancement Classroom Audio System. In addition, you will also learn how to adjust the volume for the computer and make it use the Classroom Audio System. This is your teacher microphone. To turn the teacher microphone on, press and hold the power mute button until you see the battery indicator blink. To adjust the volume of the teacher microphone, use the toggle buttons in the center of the microphone. The up button will turn the volume up and the down button will turn the volume down on the teacher microphone. To ensure that you're controlling the volume of the teacher microphone, press the select button until you see the green indicator light up under the word own. When the word own is illuminated, you know that you're controlling the volume of the teacher microphone. This is the student microphone. There are two different ways that you can use the student microphone. First, you can flip the toggle switch under the word talk upward, turning the microphone on. Here, you can continue to use the microphone as long as the toggle switch is in the upward position. Once you are through using the student microphone, flip the toggle switch down to turn the microphone off. There is also a push to talk button on the student microphone. With the talk switch in the downward position so the microphone is off, you can still push and hold the push to talk button and then talk into the microphone. It sort of works, works like a walkie talkie in that respect. Releasing the push to talk button will turn the microphone off automatically. To adjust the volume on the student microphone, turn both the student and teacher microphones on. On the teacher microphone, use the select button to select the word other. Other should be illuminated with the green indicator light. At this time, using the toggle on the teacher microphone, you can adjust the volume of the student microphone. To adjust the volume of the computer audio, find the volume icon, which is located in the sys tray in the lower right hand corner of your computer monitor window. By clicking on the volume icon, you'll see that there is a volume slider that appears, giving you the opportunity to increase or decrease the volume. Selecting the little up arrow in the upper right hand corner will give you the ability to select the different output sources from your computer. To select the overhead speakers in your classroom, you want to choose the option that says Speakers, Realtek, or Speakers, Synaptics HD. If all else fails, you can also select the option that says New Line, and that option will play the computer audio directly through the speakers in your New Line interactive flat panel. However, you'll have to be sure that you adjust the volume on the New Line Interactive Flat Panel, probably turning it up so you can hear it. If at all possible, we're hoping that you won't have to ever touch the volume or the gain input on your amplifier. However, if it becomes absolutely necessary for you to do so, we want you to know how to do it. In the picture you see on the screen, input 1, input 2, and input 3 are the three input sources for the amplifier. Input 1 has a plug in it. That plug goes to the computer and allows the computer audio to filter through the amplifier. So you'll need to adjust input 1 in order to adjust the volume of the output from your computer. On the opposite side of the amplifier from the input ports, you'll find the input 1, input 2, and input 3 volume adjustment knobs. Since input 1 was being used by the computer on the amplifier, input 1, the input 1 volume control knob on the opposite side will be used to adjust the volume of that computer source. Please be aware that these volume knobs are very sensitive on the amplifier for the classroom audio system, so you really only have to turn it up just a very little bit in order to get an adequate amount of sound out of the computer. If you have any questions or difficulty using your classroom sound system, please feel free to put in a technology work order and we'll be happy to come in and help you individually.